Hello. I am going to show you how to make an Irish blessing. An Irish blessing is an old tradition where you take garland, and as you can see, I took a regular garland, <clears throat> and you can cut it to size. You can make these all different sizes because there's many uses that you can do out of these. And I will show you that in a little bit. <clears throat> you want to fluff it all up. You can use any grade of garland. You can make them as big as you want. And then let's make this little ribbon here. As you can see, I'm looping the ribbon. I'm using wire edge. That way I can fold it and crunch it however I want it. But you can use any type of ribbon that you want. I'm just going to do three loops on each side. It's not that big of a... Now I want a little streamer. So I'm going to add a little streamer. You always want to come on an edge or... Don't cut them straight across. You want to make them look a little bit more decorative. <clears throat> I'm using 22 gauge wire. It's real thin. The higher the number, the thinner the wire. <clears throat> okay, so then I want to take it and put it at the top. right on. Now I'm making a small one and I'll show you why I'm making a small one. Like I said, using wire edging, you can make the bow however you want it to look on here, as you can see. We get all spaced out. And then you can decorate it with whatever you want. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to use some small pine cones, just a couple. Got my hot glue gun ready. Now, if you want, you can add little ornaments. You can basically put whatever you want on here. You can make them personal. As you can see, they only take a couple minutes to make, depending on the size, of course. Now, this one I made small. Like I said, I made it for a reason, and I'm going to show you why. Irish blessings, usually you hang them above your door or on your door. Can you hold it up more? <clears throat> it's an old Christmas tradition. Add a new twist to it. You can take your little Irish blessings, which is something that you can make for each one of your family members. <clears throat> and after you wrap your Christmas present, you just take a little bit of glue, stick it on the package. Not only are you decorating your package with a beautiful bow instead of those little store-bought bows, but you're using beautiful ribbon, 
pine cones, whatever you want to put on them. And then when they go to open it, they get a little keepsake. And then they can do with whatever they want to with it. They can hang it up in their house so they can use it on another Christmas package next year. Like I said, you can make these in different sizes and decorate them different ways. <clears throat> Here's two bigger ones. This one, pine cones, ornaments, the ribbons. This one has eucalyptus added to it. Now, a lot of times people will make these. As you can see, this one has holly. Hold it down a little bit more. Hmm? Hold it down. Okay. Then as you can see, there's the difference. Now, another tradition is you would take garland like this and you would place it in your windowsill like this, place it behind your candle. And that's an old Victorian, excuse me, colonial culture. Used to do this every Christmas. They would take pines and pine cones, things from out in the yard and place them on in their windows. So you can also play, put these above your door or like I said, in your windowsill. Now I make some like this <clears throat> and put them in my windowsills by doing them on the outside so people can see them. So you can do it however you want. And then you can do them in all different colors. You don't have to do them in all red. Here's one that is done in purple. Here's a blue one. Once again, it's wired ribbon, so you can fluff them up and... And then here's a different type of red. This is more of a traditional red and green with berries, Christmas ornaments. So there you go. I've just shown you how to decorate your windows inside and out, make it an Irish blessing, and also turn it into a gift package. Hope you enjoy this. Now, if you enjoy this, you can also go to the Our Subscribe here. Check out how you can decorate a grave blanket. Merry Christmas, all.